Welcome to our tutorial on doing a mail merge with the databank and Microsoft Word 2003. The basics of doing a mail merge are the same whether you use Word 2003, 2007, or another word processor. You'll have a document template which you create in Word and a data file which you export from the databank. Then you merge them together creating customized versions of the document. I'm going to show you how to merge donor data into thank you notes. We'll start by searching for donors who need to be thanked. I'm just going to look for contributions where the date thanked is null or empty. You could also pick a list based on contribution dates or key codes or any other criteria. Once I select my list, I'll go under the selection menu to roster. I want to create a contribution roster containing the details for the contributions I searched on. Click the items you will use to personalize your thank you notes. In this case, I'm choosing name, address, and contributions that match my search criteria. Remember, my search was for contributions where the date thanked is null. So if the donors within my current selection have made other contributions for which they were already thanked, these contributions will be ignored here. I want to mention the date and amount of the donation within the thank you note. So I checked off those items too. Now I'm choosing the export format that works best for my computer and I run the report. Right-click the file link to save it on your computer. I'm going to save this with a new name and a new file type, just in case I want to review and edit the data in Excel before doing the merge. This is not required, but it can be handy. The extension CSV stands for Comma Separated Values, and this is a file format that can be easily opened in Excel. Now we'll go to the thank you letter template that I've already started in Word. In Microsoft Word Lingo, this is the main document. Go to the Tools menu and pick Letters and Mailings, then Mail Merge. And a wizard will open on the right, prompting you to select a data source. Choose Use an Existing List, then browse to find the data file you want that you downloaded out of your databank. You'll get to view and edit the data if you want. So here's my thank you list file that I'm selecting. And here I can view and edit the data. Then I'll go to the next step, which is writing my letter and adding merge fields. So choose more items and insert everything you want as merge fields. Now I'm going to fast forward to my finished thank you letter so you can see how that looks. Then go to the next step which is previewing your letters and you can use the arrow buttons to flip through the letters. And the next step is completing the merge And now here are my final letters, which I can save and print. I'm not done quite yet. I also want to create mailing labels using the Quick Label tool in my databank. While you still have the same list selected, go to Selection, Menu, and Pick Labels. Choose the type of labels you want. Adjust them for your printer if needed, and click Submit. And then you'll just click View Labels for a PDF file that you can print right onto stickers. Then there's one more important step. And that is noting in your databank that the donors have been thanked. So go to the selection menu and pick Tag. And here you can add an identical contact note to the contact history for all the donors that you selected. Just enter the information you want and click Add Contact Records. So this note, thank you for a contribution, will be added to my whole selection. Then if your selection was based on a contribution search, as in this example, you can also set the date thanked from this screen.
And that's it. We've created personalized thank you notes, printed mailing labels, and updated the data bank to record they've been sent. Keep in mind that setting up your form letter for the first time is a bit of work, but once you do so, future mail merges are easy. We have a sample form letter available for download on our website. And for more help with your data bank, use the support request in your help menu, watch our other tutorials, or sign up for live training at www.thedatabank.com.